Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin White, as you heard. <laughs> so worldwide, there's an estimated 2.5 billion people that need eyeglasses, that, that, have, that suffer from poor vision. And if you suffer from poor vision, it really affects every aspect of your day-to-day -day life. It's difficult to learn. You can't see the chalkboard. Difficult to drive. Uh, you, you actually become an increased burden upon your family. And the, uh, sorry. <laughs> they, uh, it's, it's a real challenge to, to live a healthful and productive life if you can't see. This epidemic affects every aspect, every aspect of your life, and you become, uh, it's difficult to overcome the, the challenges of a, of a, of a life with, with poor vision. But it's an easy problem to solve, right? I mean, for 500 years, we've just applied glasses to this problem, and people can see clearly. And if you need glasses, for most of us, it's very simple. You go to an optometrist, you get your eyes checked, and you're done. You get a pair of eyeglasses. But what if there was only one optometrist for every 8 million people? In parts of sub-Saharan Africa, this is a reality. And the cost of glasses is pretty cheap. So it's not the cost of glasses that's the problem. It's that there's a complete lack of infrastructure that can effectively diagnose people with poor vision, determine what the prescription for each eye is, and then provide those eyeglasses. And the existing solutions are not only complex, they're extremely expensive, and it takes years to make an eye care professional. In 2005, as you heard, I was a United States Marine, and I was conducting or was planning humanitarian civic assistance operations in Africa. And my first deployment was to Morocco, and I witnessed a, a military unit giving away eyeglasses. They were donated eyeglasses. And as a professional logistician, I was really offended at the inefficiencies of the system. And I thought to myself, you know, someone should do something better than this. And what I didn't know was that interaction was going to chart the next 12 years of my life. So I started Global Vision 2020 when I retired from the Marine Corps in 2009. And we started working with different technologies that could lower that educational threshold. And what I came up with was a kit that anyone can take anywhere and provide eyeglasses. And the heart of the kit is the UC. And it's a diagnostic tool that the patient simply turns the dial and determines their prescription. The kit also includes a near chart and distance chart and a user's manual. And then it comes with multiple, multiple color frames so that the patients can pick a color that they like, and then lenses that fit all, uh, all needs for near distance, for, for near vision and for distance vision. And here's how it works. So local networks, and this is Henry, he's a community healthcare worker, admit, he gives a patient a near, a dis, near chart and, and a distance chart test to determine best visual acuity. And we use an e-chart so we can overcome any literacy issues. And if the patient needs eyeglasses, they simply put on the UC and they turn the dial until they get their best visual acuity. You then find the lens that correlates to that power and you snap it into one of the, one of the frames. And the frames are pretty nice, as you can see. <laughs> and it really takes only a few minutes to do and it's as simple as dial snap wear. We've already conducted extensive field trials at high schools in Mozambique using teachers as the distributors and in Ghana using community healthcare workers and volunteers. And in just a matter of hours, these networks, these local networks, were able to screen and dispense hundreds of glasses to students that had no option before and villagers in Ghana and provide that fix to this disability. And it really is a disability. We've already conducted clinical trials at the Wilmer Eye Institute at Johns Hopkins University and the New England College of Optometry in Boston. We are ready for full scale, for, for large scale distributions to include national programs, but we need some help to get there. We need funding to take the UC from small scale 3D printing to full scale injection molding. We need funding, we want to uh, make regional kit consolidation, distribution, and training centers, and we want to staff those with local personnel. And we need to get introduced to distribution networks. As we've seen from previous deployments, ministries of health, education, and transportation are natural partners if we want to reach all the citizens of, country, of, of countries. And any NGO that does healthcare training, healthcare distribution, refugee support operations, or even social entrepreneur training to, so that we can make entrepreneurs out of the uh, people with these kits would be great. And lastly, the regulatory assistance. Moving equipment over borders can, can cost a fair bit of money. If we can reduce those costs for the equipment that support this sustainable development goal, we can increase the number of people that we can reach at lower cost. This really is a simple solution. It's affordable, and it's time that we did it, and we can. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Okay, so quick, uh, we want to show people this. So Susan's going to put on the kit that you, you're in the field, you put this on, yep. and now you start moving the dials to see better. So look at, look that way. Oh, we have a near, wait, the near chart. Here, come look you? this way. This is this cool chart. It's a little thing from the doctor's office. Okay. All right, so you're going to look, she's going to look at this, yep. and then you hold it like I'll, that, I'll and then you adjust until the lens is correct. For each eye. Yeah. So you close one eye, adjust it, close the other eye, adjust it. I gotta get it right, because these are gonna last me for a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. All right. All so. right, so then based on that setting, Kevin's gonna look at it. Well, yeah, so that, that and was, then right here's the kit. That one, so that one imagine down. someone uh, out in the field. So simple. Nice. So, so which so, one? Yeah, so she was a three right and a three left. It's the positive lenses for readers. You got that? And you basically just take it out of the out of the bag, line it up. It's pressure. <laughs> yeah. I used to be like, I heard a click. Snap it's it like these play. cycling glasses. Have you guys ever seen the cycling glasses you get? You can pop in different lenses for the time of day. It's when the I, same idea. It's so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like uh, with shade and other stuff. And he got me frames to match my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and, there you go. And apparently this cost $2 total. And it's got cool style. And now I can read like a normal person because otherwise I can't. I can also see my camera, which I am a photographer, and I can never see the back of the camera anymore because my eyes are shot. What do you think? It's pretty good, right? <laughs> Congratulations, Kevin. Okay. So